Hi guys, Dean Musar here, more than just a pen. Today's video, we are going to be drawing Kai Lo Ren from Star Wars. And I'm a big Star Wars fan, but yeah, kind of, you know, I'm not really a big fan of him. Um, he's a, you know what, but I'm not going to say that. But yeah, basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to be using the zebra pen for a second time. The first time that I used this black zebra pen was to draw Salvador Dali, which is a previous video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, it came out pretty decent. I loved it. Um, but I had problems with the pen. I didn't think that it functioned well. The ink flow wasn't on point. I had to keep on like using a scrap piece of paper to try and get the ink to flow. It wasn't loose like most of the other brands that I used, like Stedlar, Pilot. It wasn't as easy going. But I will say it's, it's, it's good enough. You know, if you're a beginner, I would advise you to get it. It's, it's okay, you know, to start with. Um, but it can be a little difficult for the ink to flow. It's a very comfortable pen, I'll give it, I'll give it that, you know, it's very comfortable to hold um, in that sense, but when it comes to like, the function, just wanting the ink to flow all the time, it doesn't do that, you always have to get it to start up again. But again, that's another good, that it kind of can be a good thing because the ink doesn't leak as much because you need to really get it going, you know. I do have problems with other pens, like Bic, the ink flow is mad, but the ink leak is also mad, you know, it's, it's crazy. So it's like, okay, what do you want then? Do you want one that's hard for the ink to flow um, and you don't get that much leakage where you get all them like big splots on your page? Or do you want one that's very easy going but the ink f leakage is very high and you have to wipe your pen all the time? And someone like me who forgets to wipe his pen, I mean, I've been doing with ballpen pen for what? 15 years and till this day I still struggle with the whole wiping every 10 seconds and stuff I'm not used to it because I draw very lightly and the leakage rarely happens to me but when it happens to me it hits me hard so yeah zebra prints they're not terrible I'm not I'm not gonna be like this it's the worst pen I've ever tried it's not it's it's, it's good it does job um but yeah I just I just decided to try it again just to give it a second chance to see if it was just the first time I wasn't familiar with the pen if it was that or if it was just the pen's bad um, it was it was easier going this time but still I had a little bit of trouble so yeah it's not my favorite black ballpoint pen but it does do what it needs to do <laughs> um, yeah with the drawing as you can see I'm doing my Lego technique this is one thing that a lot of people do ask me that so how do you draw freehand and get everything in proportion I always tell them I build it up slowly and I use like the shadows, the lighting, all that stuff in order to keep my drawing as accurate as possible. I will eventually make this a tutorial on Patreon for you guys. So if you guys want to go on Patreon and check out my tutorials that are already on there, there's already over like 45 tutorials on there to help you guys out with layering, shading, skin tone, you know, how to draw hair, all different types of things already on there. But this year, 2019, I'm going to try my best, my best to bang out as many tutorials as I can. I will be making like cartoon tutorials and everything on YouTube, but it will get harder as we go along. You know, I'll start off simple, just showing you guys how to focus on the Lego technique, how to focus on making shapes and everything in order to create a drawing. And then we'll get more into detail with the whole, you know, colors and all that stuff with the ballpoint pen as we go along throughout this year. But this year, definitely tutorials is gonna be a big thing on my channel. And I hope you guys are excited about that. And also, I would love for you guys to give me suggestions, you know, things that you really feel like you want to learn, you know, whether it's like a do's and don'ts on how to cross hatch or, you know, how to hold a pen and things like this. Just just, uh, just let me know in the comment section. I'm, I will really, I need your help, you know. That's the only way we can really work together. You help me, I help you. Um, it makes it easier for me and it makes it easier for you, for me to get that content out to you guys. So definitely, please help me out. Comment below what you would like to see. And yeah, I really did have fun with this drawing. I did stream it on Twitch. Um, right now I'm streaming like every day. Um, so that's another place for you guys if you want to see me work in real time. Um, you can go on Twitch and check it out on there. Having a lot of fun over there. It's a, you know, just it's, it's another platform and it kind of makes, I kind of draw longer now compared to before. Before I used to draw like two hours a day, you know. I think I've mentioned that in previous videos before. Two hours daily. Um, but now it's gone up to like six to eight hours daily, you know, which is meaning a lot of creation, meaning I have a ton of drawings that I still haven't edited. You know, this is just one of them. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and all these little layers and stuff and the way that I'm working, you know, building up the drawing slowly. 
I'm not focusing on the whole image. That's another thing I always try to advise people, don't focus on the whole image. Focus on the part that you are drawing and eventually build it up. Because when you look at the whole image, it can be very overwhelming. You can think, nah, this is the most difficult drawing I've had to do in my life, you know? Um, especially when you're drawing freehand like I do. No pencil sketch, no grid, no nothing, just straight with the pens, which is kind of very risky, you know? I, I, I live on the edge, that's what I like to do. But here we are, almost towards the end. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little voiceover. I will be trying to do more of these. It's another way for me to communicate with you guys and let you guys know what I'm thinking while I'm doing my drawing. So yeah, let me know if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you give it a thumbs down, then I know that you guys don't like these commentaries. But if you do, yeah, I will try and make it done. And there is the complete image looking at, look at that lightsaber though, shining and thing. And that's just the paper guys, that's just the paper. And here, if you want full length tutorials, these are some of them that are available. We've got hair on here, you know, we've got an animal piece here with a black watercolor in the background. Got another watercolor mixed with a ballpoint pen. I like to do a lot of mixed media. Hair is just straight black. So just focus on shading, hair, layering, how I cross hatch, all that stuff. All these amazing tutorials, skin tone are available on Patreon. Link will be in the description for you guys. That's it for me, guys. I'm out. Catch you later in the next video. Peace.